We have continuing coverage tonight on a story we first told you about on WNY News at 5:30 and 6. A Southern Tier man on the run as a fugitive has resurfaced. Paul Seglia told Bloomberg Media he's alive and well. Seglia, who is from Wellsville, is accused of falsifying documents in a claim that Mark Zuckerberg owed him half of Facebook. He's been on the run for more than a year now, and he says it's because someone was planning to kill him. I spoke with Seglia's attorney, who is urging him to come home. Someone had approached him and warned him, don't know who this someone is, that new charges would be brought against him and that he would be jailed on those new charges and um, that he would he would not live to go to trial. He'd be killed in jail. According to Bloomberg, Seglia says someone was planning to have him killed. In one of four emails to the media outlet, Seglia said he felt he had no one in government he could trust. Seglia's attorney, Robert Ross Fogg, said the warning may have come at the end of 2014 or beginning of 2015. Fogg says the warning almost sounds credible because the government was going to bring more charges against Seglia. I do know that several people uh, had to obtain attorneys and fly from wherever they were across the country to go to Manhattan uh, under subpoena and to testify the grand jury. So when that did happen, I guess the first part of the warning came true, and I guess he didn't want to wait around to figure out what the second part was. Seglia is accused of falsifying documents in a claim that Mark Zuckerberg owed him half of Facebook. It was discovered March 8, 2015, that Seglia had escaped his electronic monitoring bracelet just days before a court hearing. His wife and kids were reported missing at that time. Seglia tells Bloomberg they're happy and in good health. Now, Fogg says he's not been in contact with Seglia since his disappearance, but urges him to come home. I'd like him to reach out to me, and I'd like to explain to him the advantages in him coming home. I mean, once and for all, we could win the case. We have great experts. They have authenticated the contract, and I think just to get Mr. Zuckerberg on the stand and cross-examine him will be a fun thing to do. In his communications with Bloomberg, Seglia said he's far from U.S. soil, but he didn't give any indication on where that may be. WNY News will continue to follow this story.